This is Isman247 doing a unboxing of the Acer Iconia W511. I haven't seen many of these actually online. Everyone that I've looked for have all been in foreign, so I thought I would do an unboxing and a little review of the Acer Iconia. Um, tablet. Um, basically, this this arrived today, so let's basically not bore you anymore and get into the box. You can see that it's all completely sealed. So I'm doing true unboxing for them people that like the proper unboxings. Oh. Oh, cutting the cardboard now. There we are. Now, let's get into the top half. This is the bit that you always should be careful with. But we're not cutting through into any other box. I think can get it in. I never can do it. There we are. Now, you can see Ace. I don't know if you saw that, but I'll get to that bit in a minute. Right, now let's get this out of the box. Right, the Acer Iconia W5. I know that this is the W511, so it's the one, it's the um, 3G model. So. Zoom in a little bit. So there's your specifications of the tablet. It's OS, Windows 8 32-bit. It's got an Intel Core Atom Z2760. LCD is a 10.1 multi-touch HD Acer whatever thing LCD and then memory is 2 gig memory card reader it's got a micro SD card reader um, LAN W Wi-Fi there you all that it's got 80211 BGN and Bluetooth 4 it's got a 3G WAN Webcam 1, an Acer i Full HD webcam. Then it's got a Webcam 2, which is an 8 megapixel camera. Battery is a 2 cell lithium polymer battery. And sound is an Office Home and Support. Right, that's the software, so it's got Office Home, Office Home and Student 2013. So I don't know if that come if that's a full version or it's a one of them trial things that come with it, and then that's basically all that bit. Let's zoom you back out. Oh, going the wrong way. I do this a lot. Right, basically, let's zoom you completely back out and stop boring you with the box and get this seal off here. And then twist it over because there's another seal just here. I don't think I'll need that anymore, so put that away. Now let's get into the box. If I can get the box to open. Now basically there's two boxes inside the box. Let's go for this box first. One side a minute. One second, I've just got to get it out of the way. Push that up there. Get rid of my old, get rid of my tablet out of the way. Right, then let's get into this box. And in this box is hmm, micro, I think that's micro USB to 
um, standard female USB. That's going to be handy. You've got your UK plug. I will take these out of the little baggies in a bit. Then you've got your actual charger itself and it's mm, nice white. It's like a pearl white. And then you've got your end which is looks like a proprietary thing that Asus has done. And your pluggy bit. Let's show you how it let's show you how it goes. Ouch. Let's try and get this baggy open. There we are. Right, here's your three pin plug. This only goes on one way, I think. There you are, there's your plug. Will that actually go on the other way around? Like so. No, it won't fit on that way, it'll only fit on that way. Right, so it'll only fit this way. I've tried I've tried to fit it the other way and before I do anything I want to take that away. I don't want that bit on there and we don't want that. And then there's a bit round the edges. Take all the bits off and then there's your cable. It looks pretty long so we'll see. And then you probably you probably don't need to see this but get into the baggie. Ooh. And then you've got your female to normal. And put all the bits in the back in this box. Anything else in there? No. So there's nothing else that comes with it in that box. So put that box back in the box and then get into the big box which opens up. Is there anything in this bit? Nope, nothing. So there's nothing in there. So, right, now inside the box some thing on how to sort of turn it on, attach your keyboard, it's basically it's like a quick start guide then you've got some Acer notebook some Acer notebook jargon in about 26 million zillion languages and then ooh, then we get to we've actually got the nice tablet which I will get to in a second get into the box I'm going to tease you for a little bit more what's in this little box if it's discs I'm going to go spare because I don't need discs because I've got no disc drive in this oh little Asus cleaning cloth Ooh, I can't show you that well I can but if I cover that up, that's uh, do not do not discard. It's basically my product license. So I'm not actually showing you the product license underneath here because I don't want people to nick my product key. So oh, it's for my small screen touch office home and student. Oh, that's my product key for that then. Oh, that's nice. That is nice. Um, then you've got this. Ma <laughs> super thick book for the Iconia. I didn't think there'd be that much that you needed to know about it. It's pretty simple to use except for one thing, which I'm not too pleased on. It comes with Windows 8. So this little box here, I'm going to put all this back in so I can keep that safe because that's all the jargony bits for it I need to keep safe so I'm going to put that back together if I can mm. that is just, no, don't matter about that just shove it back in there now there's another pull tab just down here so 
Oh. Right. This, this feels heavy, so what is in here? I just feel a bit heavy. Let's just take the box out and see what. Let me just see. Yeah, it does. It feels a little bit heavy, so some kind of reason. Don't look like it comes apart. Okay. Now, this is the bit we want. Down here. Comes in a nice little thing that looks anti static. Anything else in the box? No. But that still feels heavy for some apparent reason. I don't know why. No, the box don't come apart. There's nothing in it. No, that don't come apart. Alright, just close that bit up for a second. And then we've got this, which is basically the keyboard, I think. Yes. Oh, that's got some nice weight. Oh, for God, that is, oh, that is hard to, really hard to move. But after a bit of use, it may get easier to use. Oh, that is hard. Then you've got a USB 2. Yep, that's a USB 2. Then you've got the like docking port for your tablet. It's like a chick chickle style keyboard as people probably say. Chicklet or something like that. Yeah. If you if you're familiar to um, Apple keyboards, it probably feels more like the slim Apple keyboard. Then you've got your little touchpad down here. It's got yeah, at, only at the bottom it's got clicky key. Uh, like a clip bar then you've got your I think this is your yes power so that's where you plug it in to charge the internal battery and it is a bit of a fingerprint magnet by what you've seen and on the back don't say much at all no it's just loads of loads of little warning things and on the back I'll go over it slowly I'm sorry for the shadow that's because I've got my window behind me so, I'm sorry about the shadows that you may be getting. Right, so that's the nice keyboard. Let's put that off to one side a second. And now, we'll get to the Pista La Resistance. Right, one second, let's lift up. Right, it's telling me that I need to charge it. Because on the front it says, plug the wall wart in connect to the tablet and charge so I don't know we'll see but if you look at the thing before we take it out it shows you there's a headphone jack here just there look oh sorry headphone jack it tells you there that there's a headphone jack just there that's your screen orientation lock there and power and if you look, it tells you all your bits that you need to know down the side before you take the actual thing off and it shows you there that it's power. But let's get into the... Alright. Ooh. <laughs> That's nice. You can see me in it. <laughs> right. So, basically... We'll, we'll have a look up at the top here, mm, if I can get it, there we are, have a look up at the top, wait for my camera to focus, right, so, oh, sorry about banging that, we've got, telling you something about the cloud, then it says 3G, because it's the W511, the W510 is the one without the 3G, the W511 is the 3G version of this tablet. Wi-Fi classified, so it's got it's got the certified. It's got Wi-Fi, HDMI, IPS the screen, Bluetooth, 18 hours battery life on this. With that's with the keyboard, up to 18 hours with the keyboard. You get nine hours on the tablet itself. And then you get double that with the keyboard attached. And then it's got the all, always on technology. 
Now, let's have a look at all the ports. At the bottom, these two here are your actual docking ports for the keyboard to connect into the keyboard. That's your power and your data from the keyboard to be sent to the tablet. Then on the right hand side of the key, uh, tablet, we'll have a look. There's your, I think, that's a vo I think that's the volume rocker. Then you've got HDMI, SD, uh, SD, that's for that, um, micro USB, which you'd use this thing, you'd plug it in there, and then you'd get a female USB. So that's good, that comes, that's nice, it comes in the box. The only thing I'm thinking about is nothing comes with the HDMI, but that's what's to, what to expect. You've got your micro SD card, which uh, as far as I've been told, it'll only do up to a 32 gig card, but it may do a 64, but don't quote me on that one. Then you've got your SIM card slot, and that's a speaker at the bottom, which I'm not too thinking about because if you're holding it like this, you're going to be covering up the speakers. Now, go round onto the top where we've got the power button, the screen orientation lock, and headphone mic thing because it, sh it shows you that little symbol if my camera comes focus, focus, there you are showing you that it's a headset so that should be a m one of the multi ports and then if I come along there's nothing along the top anymore down on this side there's just your icon Iconia logo and then another speaker and on the back of the actual tablet it says, if I can get it in sorry about this, it says Win uh, Intel Atom and Windows 8 then if I go along there's your bits on that side and your 3G thing, thing and an NFC so it's got NFC in it if I come down to there you've got your 8 megapixel back facing camera with a flash and a mic uh, that, no that's a light not a microphone then if I come around onto the front and I come to here there is a front camera I'm not sure on what that what the megapixels is on that but now let's see if this has got any power at all so let's just press the power button and wait no no power at all so I with the power of the video these days I'll be back in a few seconds this right now I've got it on charge it's been on for charge for a few minutes now um, now let's see if we can get this to turn on so if it's just a bit of a weird angle but it's where I've got my camera. Now, let's see how long this takes to load. Just take you in a bit so you can see the screen a bit better. And this is this you're seeing it for the first time as I am. See how it comes on. It says that this can take up to 30 minutes. I hope not. So. Oh, and there was one thing that I forgot to mention when I was reading the specs out for this. Um, it's got a 64 gigabyte eMMC, which is its memory, which is like a solid state drive, but it's a bit different to a solid state drive. Now, let's have a look. We've, oh God, that's a bit sensitive. We've got. Yep, 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 that's fine. We go next. Oh, 
or the legal jargon. I don't like this touchpad. Not very much. So this is all the legal stuff. Let's just get through this and um right. So basically I'll be back in a couple of seconds. Right. Now this is me back. Now basically I don't know if you can see this. Oop, wrong way. But now it's asking me to do a colour. Um let's see. See what that looks like. That one. Turn it back slightly. Um let me see. See if I can go from yeah, right, I can do them with the keyboard, this will be better. Let's have a look. I think I like that one best. PC name. Just call it no, cat. Let's go caps. No, cat. Let's just call it netbook. Let's call it my netbook. And then go next. Right now it wants me to connect to my Wi Fi. So let's just bring this over here a second. I think that's right. So you can tell in a second if it connects. There we go. I think that, that was right then. Now bring the screen back up slightly and get it so you can see it. Right now. Let's Yep, use existing settings. Use your features e right, email address in Microsoft. Right, use your email address as a Microsoft account to sign in to Windows. We won't send you spam. Right, when you sign in to Microsoft with a Microsoft account, you can download apps from Windows Store, get get online connected in Microsoft, yeah, yeah. Right, it's just telling you all the junk. Now, let's put in this. Sorry about this. Why I quickly do it. Right. Make sure I've got that in right. Yep. Checking checking for Microsoft accounts, which it's found it. So now I just need to put in my password. Click next. Now it says, creating, creating your account. There's a bit of a play in this uh, 
um, thing, but it's not too bad. Alright, let's zoom you out a bit. i just do this bit. Right, why that's going through that. Now, oops, sorry about that. That's me. Yeah, I know about that. Right, so basically you can see what it's telling you on the screen. It's telling you swipe in from any edge. So you just swipe in from the edge and that will bring up the charms bar. But this does not help people that much because you can swipe in from this side to bring up stuff. So you can swipe in and swipe back out so you can see all your apps that you've been using. And if you're using a keyboard and mouse you go up into the corners. So if you're a window, if you haven't used Windows 8, if you come down into this corner, it'll pop up a little thing in the corner so you can get back to the start screen. Or you can press your Windows key, or if you've got the tablet, you press the Windows key there. Right. This is uh, Samsung Galaxy S4. So this is a comparison. So you can see how big it is. Right, basically, compare, let's just push that up there. So you can see how big it is. If I put the Samsung Galaxy S4 there, that's sort of the size if you can see that's it that's the Samsung Galaxy S4 on there so you can sort of see the size comparison for the tablet if I just do that and put it up there and just try and get that up there you can sort of see the size comparison I have got another 10 inch tablet just to see the size so you can see the size let's just take me um, cover off this is an um, no, no 10.1 so you can actually see the size difference Ooh. compared to the note 10.1 so there's the 10.1 note and it's probably the keyboard is a bit bigger than the note with a um, few few cent few little bits and the tablet is probably about the same size if I actually why that's doing that it tells me to wait a few minutes this is getting ooh, pretty warm on the back let me just turn that down slightly and do that and then you can see that the note 10.1 is slightly a little bit bigger only by a Nats knacker on the top. It's only about sort of that much bigger than because look if I put that side to side you can see the top edge because if I put my finger on right on the bottom you can see that it's it's about about a finger's width at the top about the side about the size of my lip, my finger. Right, let's turn this back round, and it says, it, "Oops, sorry." Installing apps. If I'm not the tripod there, sorry. Um, installing apps. It's basically what it's saying at the moment. Oh, didn't want to do that. Installing apps. I'll just quickly give you a quick move in, and you can see. And it says installing apps. Let's start. And then there's my um, home screen tiles and stuff. So let's come out of there. And then this is the home screen. So this is your tile UI as you'd normally have. So basically what it was telling me is to come in like that and there's your charms bar. So basically you've got your search, your share, start to go back to the start screen, devices if you've got any devices and then the bottom one it says settings. This is one thing that's confusing a lot of people. If you go into settings and then it says power, click the power and then you can go sleep, shut down or restart. So that's how you'd actually get your computer to think, um, to shut down and things like that. So you've got your desktop. If you want to go to 
the desktop so you've got all your stuff like you would have would have on a normal desktop I don't know where my bar is ah it's there it's hidden so basically I've got a hidden bar so if I touch and hold I can go to toolbar nope that's not how to do it so basically if I come down go into that corner you, there's a little thing popped up in the corner so basically if I right, right click it and go to I think it's products, uh, properties and features oh that's not what I wanted <laughs> that's that basically this touchpad is not very this is not very user friendly so basically to get back to the tile the modern UI as people are calling it, it well the metro UI as I call it you press Windows key will take you back or see the Windows key there you can press that and it'll take you back and it goes back and I don't know if you heard that, but there was a little buzz when you press that key. So that's basically all you tell you I and stuff like that. So basically I could go into like let's see see what we could go into. Um don't want Internet Explorer for now. Got Evernote, Skype. What we got? My office, oh, I've got Office 360, yeah, Office 365. So basically, just to show you these, uh, these working, bring up the weather. Wait for it to come up, and it's showing London, England. So that's that. And to close an app, you pull from the top down and keep going down and drop, and that's the app completely closed because if you you should now you see I pulled in my desktop and then I'd go back if I'd had another app open which I'll show you in a minute so basically if I um, open this just to say it's just a reader app just bring up the reader app And these are, this is just news. Just leave the news app on, and I go back by pressing the Windows key, which leaves that app open. Um, bring up Bing, just to say, go back, leave that app, leave that app open, just to show you a few apps and how it works and stuff. We'll open the travel app and go back. Right. Now if I do that, you can see that I've got this bar come up and that's all, this is how you do your multitasking and that's all your apps that you've got open. So if I touch there, now if I do this, I can go through the apps that I've actually got open you see. So I can go through all my little apps and it's saying that the desktop's an app because they all, they want you to use oh that was me they want you to use the modern UI more which is when I get back to it when it goes back they want you to use this this is your start this basically is your start screen with everything all these tiles that you can see moving and things like that are all live tiles you can actually turn them off if you want to turn them off you can make your tiles bigger and smaller so basically now I've put a 3G card in just to see so I'm going to check the 3G. So basically to do this, I'm going to go to the desktop. I'm going to go down. Oop, not that one. Let's go. All right. It's not showing up the 3G, which is weird. So I think there's a little problem with a um, little bug there, which I can sort out later. All right. So let's close that off. I know I think I know how to do that. I have to turn the I have to restart the tablet and so on and so forth. I'll get round to that later. Right. So what else was I got right now? 
let's see I've put in an, um, a 32 gig SD card so let's go to the file manager down here let's bring this up and it don't seem to be showing that up ah, we go to there which is desktop that's not what I wanted, I want where's my, where's my computer ah there, go to computer there's the SD card which is quite full bring up the SD card it was took from my um, Note 2 so it may have Android bits and pieces on it but if I go into movies and we'll go to uh, let's try let's see if these work let's this is before I've downloaded anything by the way this is just stock so let's just see um, let's bring up right let's bring up that which is Chobits and let's bring up episode one let's see if it plays it oops ah, I got a notification We should just win let's just do recommended and finish. Right. And that's running. I'll be turning nineteen this year. Right now I'm still eighteen. This spring, I'm planning on moving to Tokyo and going to college. That's it, full. And then there's the thingy full. Let's go to full screen. And it's playing that fine. So let's make that small. Let's go up there and click the thingy. So that's that's working fine. So now let's go um, back. Let's see if it will bring up um, this one because I like I like the opening for this. You see what I mean? If you was holding the tablet there, it would sort of mute the speakers if you can sort of, if you hear that, that mutes the speakers. So it's actually playing an HD file. So it will play HD video, which is good. And I'll try and get the glare off the screen. So, let's just so it's playing an HD file, so that's good. So turn the sound down. Let's go to home. That's playing in one of the apps. Oh, I don't want that. How do I stop it? That's it, right, that's stopped. Get rid of that. Oh, it's here now. Oh, that was it. Bring down from the top and there's me one that was playing. Stop. There we are. So now I've understood. Slightly down from the top, brings up the bar so you can stop it. You can just pause it. So basically that's cool. Oh, and ear look. I can, it says play, play two. So I could, if, if I had my Xbox on, I could probably send it to the Xbox by the look of that picture I could probably send it to the Xbox so let's close that down so that gets rid of that so basically let's go back to the desktop and let's have a look um, let's bring up the little line and yep 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 what's that one that's the that's the Intel trick that's for me Intel processor, the Intel Atom. That's cool. We've got um, Internet Explorer here. Now, let's bring in from the side, go to settings, 
Let's go to change settings at the bottom and I'm going to do a little bit of customization. I, mm, I like that um, lock screen so that's fine. User, that's absolutely fine. Go to notifications, leave all my notifications. Um, search, share. Now let's go down to the bottom where it says Windows Updates and let's check for updates see if there's any updates for the tablet and I thought I'd do one, this video because everywhere I've looked for this specific tablet on the um, internet for a video or anything like that it's always been in foreign so I thought to do an English version of it for the English speakers out there. So basically, I can I can click for check for updates now. I'm going to click the bit there, which shows me all the updates. But I'm going to do a little extra option, where normally people just click install and just install them. But I'm going to do a little extra option by clicking on the blue bar, the blue bit and actually doing this where I get more updates I get extra bits from Microsoft itself so click the accept let's just get this so I can click on that I've got to use the mouse and then click install on that and we go yes let that install so that's installed now it's this Windows updates is in, yep 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 it's all the jargon for it so I can click that and close now it's checking now make that full screen so just checking for updates to make sure that it's fully up to date and there'll be a few that will be high priority and a few that will be ones that you don't have to install which I want to in, I want to install most of it so I've got the best experience from the tablet so basically I will be with the power of the internet I will be back in a couple of seconds I've just done a quick restart because it was taking a little bit too long to try and check for updates and on the um, restart it says preparing to configure windows do not turn off your computer so we'll just see how long this takes now restarting. All right, that's it shut down. Now it's starting up. Let's see how fast it starts up. This is not from a complete cold boot, by the way. This is just a quick restart because it was taking a bit of time. What on what it was doing? So turn that towards you, so then you can see it which puts it at an odd angle for me but that don't matter it's more for, the, more for the viewers to see and then there we are that's the screen started and if we just press the end, space key and it comes up now let's put in me putty word <sighs> make sure I'm pointing it right And there we are that's it back on so basically it was just taking a bit too long on the update so I thought I'd just quickly restart it just to give it a bit of a kick right, let's have a look let's go right down and let's have a look to see on Windows updates let's see how long this takes to check Check for update. And let's check.
and I will be back in a few minutes when this is actually done or finished, just getting ready to be finished. Okay. Right. It's installed 60 out of 61. It's just on its 61, yeah, 61st update. Um, it's doing a security update at the moment and we'll just wait and see how long this is going to take. I said I'll be back once the I've got it nearly updated. See how long this is going to take. And then we'll do a shutdown thing with it and see. Security update for Microsoft Net Framework 3.5 on Windows 8. That's what it's doing at the moment. And it's telling me I need to restart, so let's click restart. Restarting, and we'll just see how long it takes. It will take a little bit longer because of the updates that have been put on, so we'll just see how long this takes. And why, while I've been gone, the battery in the keyboard is fully charged. So that's showing a little blue light there. If that light is orange, it means it's charging. And on the top of the tablet, just here, there's a little blue light, which I don't think you can actually see. But So... see my window so tilt it to there and you can't sorry about the noise if you can hear that there that's uh, my neighbors in the hallway outside it is taking a little bit longer than normally would do so I will be back when it's finished restarting now we're back after the shutdown, it's just finishing the updates that I did a few minutes ago. So we'll just see how long this little bit takes. It says that it's on 100% so we'll see. Just see how long it takes. Preparing configuration windows, do not turn off the power. Do not turn off the computer. So, just see how long this takes to do that. I've started to, while I've been waiting for the updates to go through, it's gone to 30% now. Um, on a different update I think while I've been restarting while I've been waiting I've been um, flicking around on some of the apps and stuff and I've got used to this um, touchpad now um, it hasn't got multi-touch like on some um, Windows 8 devices but that's not a deal breaker <clears throat> basically if you lightly move your finger over the top of it, it moves the cursor. And you've still got your left and your right mouse clicks on it. If you're using the touch screen and you're going to do a left and a right mouse click, a normal click would be just touch it. And to do a right click, you touch and hold. So basically you touch and then you're done. Or you touch and hold to do a right click. Please wait. <clears throat> so basically I'm just waiting after the updates. The only thing that I haven't been able to seem to find out why it's not working is the 3G at the moment. So there we are. We're on the um, Windows lock screen. So basically if you're doing it with a if you're doing touch you'd do that and it'd bring up the keyboard. 
So let me just put in my password and I'll put it back in a second. Oops. Now let's just make sure I've put this in right. And get it back so you can see what's going on. Right, we're logging in. Come on. There we are. We're logged into Windows. So we've got Windows. I've got me Netflix app up now. Got me weather app going. I've got Dropbox because I use Dropbox. And there's a few other um, apps like Silverlight. I didn't click on that, but still. So basically, drag from the top to the bottom, close it. If you can hear funny noises, it's my next door neighbour's having some fun. So basically, that's your thing. And let's go to the desktop. And let's. Right. Let's go back. Press my Windows key. Let's um, bring up the charms bar. Go to settings. Go to more settings and this is how you would personalize so you could change the lock screen so basically if I wanted to I could have that that and um, basically I want that one that's the one I want as my lock screen um, start menu you can change all your colors and how your start menu would look I like my start menu as it is my account picture so I can change that users you can add more users you can change your notifications this is all in your PC settings Wi-Fi and devices and everything like that sync settings right let's have a look see if it's got any more up updates click there get information that's my desktop let's have a look there's one optional let's have a look at the optional don't want that one so I click hold let go and click hide that's it hide update so that's that so now we can go back and let's just check for updates and I'll be back in a few minutes right it's still doing its updates I've um, decided that I'm going to end the video here and in a few days couple of days I will uplo upload another video when it's fully set up and I'm all set up with the device and I've had a bit of time to fiddle with it and things like that so then I can show you more videos and show you the if if I can get the 3G to work how how I got the 3G to work and stuff like that so this is Ismad247 signing out